Hi, welcome to uh, Retrophonics YouTube channel. Today I have a um, small step down transformer. You can see the rating of the transformer here. Uh, it's a 230 volt, it has a uh, 230 volt primary and 15 volt secondary, and it is about uh, 2 watts. It can handle about 2 watts. So I salvaged this transformer from one of my circuits and then uh, I won't use this transformer in one of my other circuits so I have a question I need to find the primary side and the secondary side of this step down transformer so how would you do this so today I'm going to show you a method uh, to identify the primary side of the of this transformer and the secondary side of the transformer and I'm also going to show you why this method works from some calculation so the practical way to identify the primary side and the secondary side of the transformer you need a multimeter right and um, you need to put your multimeter to ohm scale right or resistance scale now then you need to look for the two sides of the transformer or mean I mean uh, two pins of the transformer where the coil is connected um, you can see here you can see a small coil connected to this pin and a small coil connected to this pin so this will be a one one winding of this transformer and if you turn if you look at the other side you can see another small coil connected to this pin and another small coil connected to this pin so this will be uh, another side of a transformer right so we need to find out which side is primary and which side is secondary so to do this you go back to our multimeter right and you take the probes you measure the resistance between these two pins so when you measure resistance between these two pins you will be measuring resistance resistance between one uh, one side right so it is about 2.1 kilo ohms so this side is about 2.1 kilo ohms and then you will measure the resistance of the other side like so it's 14 ohms right um, so this side has a higher resistance and this side has a lower resistance so for a step down transformer the higher resistance side will be the primary side and the lower resistance side will be the secondary side if it is a if it is a step up transformer it will be the other way around right um, so this will be the uh, secondary side and that will be the primary side right now I'm going to show you why this method works okay from little bit of calculations right so this this transformer is a step down transformer right and we can draw the transformer like so so this will be our primary winding and this will be our secondary winding and for this particular transformer the label says it's 230 volts on primary and the secondary is 15 volts right um, then we mark we, we also mark two currents for this transformer we mark the primary side current as I sub 1 and the secondary side current as I sub 2 right now for this particular transformer we also saw the power is equal to 2 volts right so now we apply a, a calculation to 
check for i1 right so we know power e is equal to vi voltage multiplied by current and then i sub 1 will be power over voltage right so for this transformer if we assume 100 percent efficiency we can we can we can have two here for the power two watts and divided by 230 volts right so this equates to i did the math earlier about 8.6 milliamps we also find the current on the secondary side i sub 2 and that equates to 15 volts divided by 230 volts so that equates equates to 130 milliamps so you can see the primary side current is less and the secondary side current is higher so to accommodate the smaller current the primary side will have a smaller um, coil right a smaller cross-section coil so this will have a smaller cross-section coil and to accommodate this higher current the secondary side will have a higher cross-section coil because of that because this has a smaller cross-section coil and this side has a higher uh, cross-section coil right the the resistance for this side will be greater than resistance of the uh, primary side sorry the from on the secondary side right so that is a uh, small explanation i hope that you enjoyed this video if you have learned something just uh, like our video and also uh, subscribe to our video if you have any questions please uh, leave a comment thank you very much for watching the video